What should be considered when determining the accuracy of chemical test results in a DWI case? Attorney Russ Kaufman explains that. The device used to measure blood alcohol content as well as the following must be considered when determining the accuracy of the result of a chemical test. 1. The qualifications and reliability of the person who gave the test. 2. The lapse of time between the operation of the motor vehicle and the giving of the test. 3. Whether the device used was in good working order at the time the test was administered. And 4. Whether the test was given properly. Evidence that the test was administered by a professional possessing a valid New York State Department of Health permit allows for the presumption that the test was done properly. Determining whether a person is impaired is not dependent upon any particular chemical or physical test. Instead, to determine whether the defendant's ability to operate a motor vehicle was impaired, all surrounding facts and circumstances must be considered. This includes the following. 1. The defendant's physical condition and appearance, balance and coordination, and manner of speech. 2. The presence or absence of an odor of alcohol. 3. The manner in which the defendant operated the motor vehicle. 4. Testimony regarding the defendant's sobriety. 5. Circumstances of an accident. And 6. The results of any test of blood alcohol content of the defendant's blood. For a free phone consultation, contact attorney Russ Kaufman in New York at 646 453 6009 or visit www.lebedinkaufman.com.